Let's look at a quick entrance questionnaire. And there it is. So most entrance questionnaires are basically asking for things like demographic information. You know, what is your age range? What is um, your highest level of education? What is your gender? Now, here's one thing I want you to remember when you are altering this document. Collect demographic data that actually makes sense. So here's a great example. Type, teacher, student, general public. If you are analyzing, let's see, let me grab something from previous semesters, tripadvisor.com. Do you care if they're a teacher or a student? You don't. So does it make sense to include something like this? It doesn't. So you have to customize that to your particular product. I don't want to see that you ask them if they're a teacher, student, or general public if it has nothing to do with your product. Make sense? So if you go ahead and scroll down, it asks you, you know, other things. What type of activities do you engage in in terms of technology use, those sorts of things. You need to think about your particular product. Try to keep this to one page or less for this class. It's not always one page or less out in industry, but try to keep it to one page or less. Let's see, we did consent. There's also a larger document that gives you some more details about a test facilitator script. I actually prefer this one to the other one because it's easier for you to read and alter. It's easier to see, see how it has some nice sections. I don't think it has uh, anyone's name on it, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's another nice example that, that really helps you emphasize what is your role, what is the participant's role, what are the things you want them to keep in mind. Then there are the task-based questions. This is, this is something that, again, you're going to give both them a copy of, with the exception of some information that's in there, and you're going to read to them. We are going to talk about the Think Aloud protocol probably next time. And here is a sample task. You are going to give your participants a piece of paper with your tasks listed, the exact wording. So I want you to look at this wording and think about it when we go through some of this group's tasks. You need to incorporate censorship and art into your curriculum next month. You have heard that the Blanton Museum has some text-aligned activities for students. How would you find this resource? This, by the way, what they're testing is an educational, uh, an educational website for, uh, I'm pretty sure it was for teachers. So text is, the, the text is um, a standard, by the way, so don't let it confuse you. Is this telling you what to do, specifically, step by step? Oh. No, it's giving you what? A goal. Is it referring to anything that's specific on the screen? No. Also very important. It is basically approaching the wording from the perspective of the user. What is the user thinking? What is the user trying to accomplish? Because that is how the user is going to approach your particular product. Now notice that there are some things in orange. Right, those are notes for the facilitator. Do not include those in the copy that you give to your participants, but you do want it in your copy. Here is the other thing you do not want to include for your participants, but that you really need to include for the facilitator. You are going to, before you run your participants, go through your tasks and decide what do you think is the click stream or the steps 
you see what they what terminology they use in this other document. Oops, hold on. It's also called, hold on, ah, the pathway. In other words, what steps do you expect your participants to take to accomplish the goal? Now, you can use either of these two documents. Use the one that you find most useful. Let's see, where did it go? There it is. But notice on this one, for example, it has a little blank here. What do you think that's for? For check marks. Right? So if your participant goes and they do this, you can put a check mark. You don't have to write it down for every single participant. Makes your life much easier. Right? It also shows that you have planned this out really well. They do it, you put a check mark. They don't, no check mark, and you write notes. You want to write down anything that the user says verbally that's pertinent. This is optional, by the way. You can ask them how long it takes, you know, if they have any suggestions. You can also record how long it takes them to complete the task if you would like. And then here again, these are facilitator notes. This is, were they able to complete the task and how easily? So from the big smiley face to they did awesome, no problem, to the bomb. What do you think a bomb means? Yeah, they didn't complete it. So there you just have to circle it. Make sense? Yes? Now after you go through those, then you're going to have your exit questionnaire. Your exit questionnaire, usually the, that is when you're going to be asking them about what they thought overall about the particular product, about the site and so forth. Again, you do have to customize it. All right, so what are the features of the ABC website slash product? I don't want to see ABC on your actual documents that you use. And yes, people have done that in the past. So make sure you customize it. Now, with the exit questionnaire, you can either hand it to your participant and ask them to fill it out, or you can ask them verbally and you can take notes. It's up to you. I've had groups do it different ways depending on what they prefer. All right, any questions so far? I think I went through all of them. Yes, any questions so far? Nope, you guys are ready to go customize your uh, documents? Yep, it's easy, right? Piece of cake. Now, let me see, which was the one from usability.gov? Some of these, you notice, remember I told you that I didn't write any of these? Some of these I got from, oh wait, that's not it. So there, there are numerous sites. So if you look at this, notice the heading. That's where I got it from. All right, so reuse these. You guys, you know, you, you, you've learned, learned about code reuse, right? Document reuse. Don't make your life worse. 